Today I want to show you a new powerful HTML feature which is called the popover. It allows you to open up a new element at the top layer of a document so you don't have to worry about set index or how to position the elements uh, how to position the element to be sure that it is shown on top of every other element. And it's really easy to implement. All you need is a is a trigger where you define the popover target and then that target again is another HTML element where you define the popover attribute and the, the ID where you reference the popover target. And that's basically all you have to do in order to get this nice little modal. The best thing is, as it is a browser native implementation, you get certain aspects for free, such as you can close this modal with an escape key. However, there's one thing that this very basic implementation is missing yet, but no worries, we can add it. And I'm talking about the exit and entry animations or entry and exit animations. Um, when we open it, it's like, it's good, it's nice, it's there, but it doesn't look that uh, that appealing when we open it. And we can actually fix that very easily. So CSS gives us the power that we can tell the browser um, to fade in an element, which is kind of new. I think it only works in Chrome so far, but we can give it a try using the CSS starting style, which basically tells the browser how to style an element before it is opened, as the name suggests. And now as we activated the style and we click on the popover, we can see that it slowly fades in and there's no um, sudden sudden visibility happening. However, what we don't fix here so far is the exit animation. When we close it, it still just disappears. But we can also fix this by using the so a new CSS feature called the transition behavior um, with the value of allow discrete, which as the name suggests, um, it enables you to smoothly transition between discrete um, discrete properties such as display and visibility. Um, and now let's give it a try. When we open the popover and we close it, we can see that we, that it slowly fades in and also slowly fades out just like we wanted it. And that's perfect. It's just like a few lines of CSS and the HTML, and we don't need any JavaScript for doing this. Maybe that's not completely true. Uh, I have a listener that we can close the popover using the H key, but that's it, basically it.